This review is brought to you in part by Riders Hobby Shops, where the fun begins. Stop in to one of Riders' two convenient Michigan locations, where you'll find a full range of the latest hobby products, supplies, parts, tools, and paint. You'll find aisles and aisles of scale model kits, RC models, model rockets, Warhammer gaming, and railroading products. Stop in at Riders today and tell them Doug sent you. This review covers the 20-foot containers from Kilo Kits. They are 135 scale kits, and these are the number 5049A version, the unpainted uh, versions. Now, these are perfect for use in military dioramas, loaded on trains or trucks, etc., and they accurately replicate the 20-foot containers that are used. Now, they also have interior and exterior details, and the exterior comes in as a single piece, so there's no alignment issues. And the doors and the locking mechanisms are separate parts. Now, they, they're in, they can come in either bare plastic, or you can order them pre-decorated in U.S. Army containers and military hospital standard colors, or decorated uh, with some paint and decals to represent whatever issue uh, you like to make them into from the unpainted versions. Now, the finished dimensions are about six and three quarter inches long, two and three quarter inches wide, and three inches high. These models come in a fairly plain looking box, uh, reminiscent of the old government cheese box. And um, it's, it's got an you know, actual depiction of the item on there that looks fairly um, representative of the item. Now you can see here the contents of the kit. There's some hinges, some uh, some braces, brackets, doors, and the bottom. And of course you could um, uh, uh, paint the interior any color you like before you do that. And as you see here, it's getting a coat of uh, light uh, primer. And uh, then we'll start assembling. There's not a lot of things to do on this kit before you get it ready for action. Uh, the first thing I chose was to add the uh, doors and the hinges and you glue the hinges into place and trap the doors into position. Now I'm going to keep the doors closed uh, so I added some fillers here made from scrap plastic uh, and then uh, ru rubber bands around the whole unit to keep it uh, all tight while it dried. Uh, for my application I'm not going to be uh, opening the doors uh, so that's why the fillers are used but um, it, it, uh, it means that I'm not going to work on the detail of the interior. I wanted a nice tight looking box and this is going to be uh, loaded on 135 railroad trains. Now next you simply glue the bottom onto the, uh, the main box there and uh, then a, a coat of light sand uh, and let it dry and you're done uh, if you're going to keep it closed. And that's what I did and you see here also the, uh, the front end uh, of the unit. Um, they're a pretty good replication of the 20-foot container that uh, is used extensively in transporting cargo uh, in the military. And here's the back end. It looks very accurate uh, because of the separated uh, locking mechanisms and hinges. Uh, and if I were you, I'd buy one of these and put it on my diorama. Well, we hope you like this step-by-step -step kit review. And so that you don't miss any more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the lower right hand icon of any of our reviews. You can also find us on Facebook or our website, rightonreplicas.com. Thanks.